All right, here a live look here at Coney Island again, courtesy of Earth Cam. Again, that uh, the hot dog challenge, hot dog eating challenge, kicking off right now. And of course, uh, you see that once in each and every year. You see one of the uh, subway trains arriving, perhaps to drop off a little more folks. They're enjoying that. That's a televised event. Uh, so good luck to the. Uh, the gentleman that always wins it each and every year thinks he's got 15 <laughs> titles there for the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, sitting at 76 hot dogs. How does he do it? Uh, aside from this celebration, there's another one, a big one, that everyone likes to watch tonight. Yeah, huge tonight's world-famous Macy's Fireworks. It is happening on the other side of Manhattan on the East River. Thousands expected to line the river for the best view there. Although I will say mm -hmm. that you don't have to be in the crowd over on the East River to watch it or to see any fireworks. I mean, they're shooting off from all around the city. Right, but obviously everyone's watching from around the country, so you can watch it by <laughs> television tonight. Again, all, all the network there, one of the networks there. Fireworks, of course, the centerpiece of so many Fourth of July celebrations. And today on National Report, we have really fireworks royalty with us right now. We're going to explain. Phil Grucci is the CEO of Fireworks by Grucci and Mark, or excuse me, Mick Marietta is the CEO of Jake's Fireworks. Uh, thank you both gentlemen for coming out. We do appreciate that. I know you're busy today, uh, so we appreciate you taking the time. Uh, Phil, can I start with you? Phil and Mick, both of your families have been in the fireworks business for generations. Um, obviously, this is something that it, one of the biggest day of the year, or rather, Phil, is this the biggest day of the year for fireworks? It is the biggest day, biggest weekend, uh, because Fourth of July is on a Friday, on a Tuesday. So we we started celebrating on Friday. Uh, so it is the biggest day. What rivals it now, though, is also New Year's Eve. Uh, the world celebrates New Year's Eve, so we have quite a lot of international business that happens on this on New Year's Eve. So we we ta we have two peaks throughout the year. Real quick, uh, go back to. Let me say with you, Phil. Where are you right now, and what are you preparing for? Because it looks like you're on a beach. It's ironic. I am in, in the Bahamas right now at the Atlantis uh, Resort. Uh, the Atlantis uh, is celebrating their 25th anniversary as, as well. This weekend, the majority of their guests are Americans. So they have a big blowout party for the 4th of July. Uh, we're here uh, and also we'll be here till next week because on the 10th of July, the Bahamas celebrates their 50th anniversary. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was Atlantis. So, no, I That's why I'm too. here. <laughs> Not a bad gig, Phil. Good job. Not at all. We well, love it. get to the upper level, you could choose where you want to go. <laughs> I, I think I have uh, put the years in, so I made that choice early in the day. I was going to say, and a CEO who goes out and, and does the actual hard work, the uh, manpower oh, yeah. behind the fireworks to get them up. But, Mike, we also know that you, Mick, you grew up in a, in a firework um, family. Can you tell us what it was like to grow up and what happens behind the scenes when you're actually in one of these families? Yeah, an amazing family story. Uh, we've been in the fireworks business over 80 years, and my grandparents started it in just a, a little corner store. So, you know, kind of the American dream, the American story, multi generations of not just the people selling fireworks, but of the people coming to celebrate Independence Day with us. So, it's a huge day for us getting to see all family and friends and multi generations of people coming back to, you know, celebrate with us. Yeah, talk to me about that, Mick, really quickly, staying with you, and how big of a day is, is this, and, and uh, what stands out to you about today specifically, Mick? Uh, it's, it's a huge day for us. You know, it's, it's a great day with the Tuesday, 4th of July. A lot of people celebrate tonight with their fireworks, a lot of shows to go to. You know, it's going to be one of those special evenings. Uh, the weather looks great everywhere. Everybody's going to be able to go out and enjoy it, you know, do their family picnics and enjoy their family, enjoy their family time and, you know, celebrate with fireworks. Awesome. And Phil, we just wanted to ask you. So Gucci has been um, has done international fireworks shows. You've done presidential inaugurations. It's just so many shows to count. Are there any ones in particular that stand out that you're most proud of? Well, the, the larger productions that uh, that have gained world record status and things of that nature. But I have to tell you, uh, this week, uh, going to some of the programs, going to the smaller programs are the ones that we get the most thrill out of because you see the people. They're in the audience. It's not. It's not. Uh, you're not. They're not fighting the crowds. They're. Uh, they're watching a fireworks show. And what's beautiful about it is, it's the rare occasion where you really get to turn everything off. And for that 20 minutes while the fireworks show is going off, the grandfather and the grandson that are watching the show, they're looking up in the uh, in the sky. They have the same face. 
except for the, maybe the wrinkles on the grandfather. The mouth is wide open, the eyes are wide open, and they're really and they're not looking at their phones. It's one of those moments that we really cherish because we have the opportunity to provide that joy. So it is uh, those types of programs really, really, they live, they live close to our hearts. And we're very proud to be a multi-generational family. I'm watching my son is in, in Jersey, my nephew's in New York, my brother-in-law's over at Caesar's Palace on the roof. And I've got my daughter here in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the Bahamas. So, you know, we're lucky. We're very fortunate. I love what I do when I wake up in the morning. And I would like to put a shout out to Mike as well, because I'm very proud of, of families like that that have, uh, that have stuck it out, because it's not an easy industry. No, yeah, it's not an easy see We're out here now. The year looks pretty, but you know it's hard work, and it takes a lot of time and and uh, risk management and and logistics to move 400 pyrotechnicians from here to Hawaii uh, for that one eight, ten, twenty minute firework. <laughs> we are sure, but we definitely appreciate all that um, you and your families do, so that we can see these amazing shows thank you very um, much. on on events like today. But Phil Gucci, Mick Marietta, thank you so much for coming on and giving us a little behind the scenes taste of what it's like to be part of one of the first families of fireworks. Thank you very much, and happy Independence Day. Thank you all very much.